Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the gear tooth terminologies. So, let's get started. Now, here we have a gear teeth as we can see here. There are various terminologies in case of a gear. I will explain them one by one. The first one is the pitch circle diameter. This which I am showing. It is the pitch circle and pitch circle or we can say the pitch circle diameter is the mean or the average diameter at the same time this is the diameter which is taken as the reference in case of the gear teeth because we have other two diameters as well and those are the addendum diameter which I am showing it over here also called as the addendum circle so addendum circle is taken from the center up to the top of the teeth the radius is taken and then the circle is drawn so that is the addendum circle it is greater than the pitch circle diameter then at the same time we have the addendum circle which is there at the bottom so this is the addendum circle and it can be clearly seen that we have three different diameters addendum diameter, pitch circle diameter and dedendum diameter. So when we take the reference in case of a gear, gear teeth, we take the pitch circle diameter which is in between the addendum and the dedendum diameters. So that is taken as the reference. Next after that the distance or we can say the radial distance which is measured from the pitch circle diameter up to the top of the teeth that is called as the addendum and the distance between the pitch circle diameter and the dedendum circle diameter which is the radial distance is called as the dedendum then addendum plus dedendum that is called as the total depth as we can see it over here next some amount of clearance is always left Now why this clearance is left because the gear teeth which we are having it will mesh with another teeth which would be coming from the opposite end. So the gear teeth which is coming from the opposite end should not hit or should not come in contact with the dedendum part of this gear because when it comes in contact with the dedendum then that gears would be jammed or when such, a gear, such gears are operated there would be huge amount of friction at the same time in order to operate such gears which are jammed huge amount of power is required or we can say power is lost so in order to avoid all that we provide some clearance as can be seen it over here the clearance is provided so when we give small amount of clearance we are getting a circle and this circle is called as the clearance circle so the gear teeth which is coming from the other end it will be in contact with this clearance circle leaving some amount of clearance so that the gear operates in a smooth manner without noise without loss of power then after that we have the top surface of the gear teeth and this top surface is called as the top land then after top land here we have the profile of the teeth and the portion of the teeth we can say it is divided into two parts I will explain it over here that when we take the pitch circle diameter at this point when I draw a line which is parallel to the top line then it divides the gear tooth profile this is the profile of the gear teeth it divides into two parts the top part is called as the face this is the face of the gear teeth whereas the bottom part is called as the flank so there is a face and the flank this profile is divided into two parts next after the face and the flank like top land here we have the bottom land as well that is the space between the two gear teeth and some slight radius is provided which is called as the fillet radius because we want to avoid sharp corners over here so we are just providing a smooth curve 
which are called as the fillet radius and because of this small curve as well the friction reduces then the width of the gear teeth is called as the face width indicated over here this is the face width of the gear and after the face width we can say that the gears which are in mesh their face width should be equal at the same time their circular pitch should also be equal the next term which I am explaining is the circular pitch it is denoted as P suffix C circular pitch how to measure it select a point on a gear teeth then that point needs to be selected on the pitch circle diameter so select a point anywhere on the gear teeth I am selecting a point over here but it should be on the pitch circle diameter now on the next teeth select the point at the same location like I have selected it onto the left profile so onto the left profile on the pitch circle diameter now measure this distance as an arc arc of the pitch circle so this distance is called as the circular pitch measured along the pitch circle diameter and circular pitch is given by the formula it is pi into m where m is the module of the gear teeth and module of the gear teeth is nothing but the pitch circle diameter denoted by capital D divided by the total number of teeth on the gears so in this way the circular pitch needs to be calculated and circular pitch will also remain constant throughout the gear it will be constant and for two gears to be in mesh their circular pitch should also match even the module should be same then as I have explained total depth now what is the working depth working depth is addendum plus dedendum minus clearance that is leaving the clearance whatever the distance radial distance is left that is called as the working depth because total depth is addendum plus dedendum whereas working depth would be, would be addendum plus dedendum minus the clearance which is the radial distance so after that and we can say that the profile of the gear teeth mostly we are using the involute profile for the gear teeth and when all the details have been explained so this was the short video regarding the gear tooth terminologies at the end if you all find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching